We are looking at the full evolution of Adibayo. It was his in form. We've made him 88 rated. Now, his high height, yes, three star, three star is a little bit annoying. But the reason why I did him is because he's six foot four and mostly lengthy. And he has 98 sprint speed, 83 acceleration. But he has 92 finishing, 86 shot power. Agility and balance isn't too bad. Obviously, use the card doing his Evo to get him up to where he is. But because of his header inaccuracy, his physicality, and his composure, and also having first touch plus and rapid plus as his two new play styles, that's why we did it. Now, he has got himself power header, power shot, tick attacker, bruiser, aerial, first touch plus, rapid plus, and technical. And this guy is quite clinical. You see there, nine games, 11 goals, two assists, all done in foot champs and rivals. Now, we are going to be playing in a 4-2-3-1, but quickly, I just wanted to show you what it looked like in terms of the Evo. We are looking at this strike force training one here. And once he is fully evolutioned, you can see compared to his inform, which is the one we did, He's got a better pace, better acceleration, a better shooting, better passing, and much more. And then with a Hunter on him, which is the chem star we've gone for, makes him into a 93-rated striker. Now, today, he is going to be playing in our 4-2-3-1 system. He's going to have Omri on the left, Isabio Centurions on the right, and Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, Bernardo Silva behind him. We are currently 9-1 in, in foot champ, so he's going to be in some good gameplay as we go into the game now. And let's just see how he does for us today, Adibayo up front, and let's see how we get on. If you need help in FC24, I've got the best solution. Head over to skycoach.gg where you can get boost in weekend league rivals. You can buy FC coins as well as get yourself 10% off on all orders when you use code NANIC. Link will be in the description down below. There is nothing stopping you, and go ahead and get those boosts you need. So as mentioned, we are in Weekend League or Foot Champs. We are 9-1 and one at the moment, and we are in a very good ELO. We're going to be playing Adebayo up front on his own. We obviously, as I mentioned, the formation with the left and right. And we're going to see how he does for us today. Now, I love that he's got first touch plus, and I love that he's got rapid. I played a couple games with him, and yes, you could argue his weak foot is a little bit frustrating, but this is where he comes into the stem of it. You can see there, first touch, and then straight away into rapid. You get a lot of the speed boost off that in terms of a powerful shot. Now, he's going to be the pinhead of our attack, or spearhead, should I say, sorry, which is basically, like I said, a 4-2-3-1, him up front. And we're just going to see how he does for us today. Not really interested in terms of assists. If he gets him, it's fantastic. But his main job for us is going to be running in between the lines as he is and then trying to get the goals with him. And we're just going to see how we go. Now, we are at a very tough ELO, which is going to make the game even more interesting. Let's go, counter-attack. The Bay are making it run. Oh, he's offside anyway. It's a shame. There's a good space there. It's good to know. Ali Bay on the ball. He's up rapid to try it and get away. Now, because he's mostly lengthy, he's going to be quicker than most defenders as well. So he goes to get the left stick dribble. And we nearly got that shot off. You can see, though, the agility and balance is not an issue with that left stick. Got away from Maldini's tackle. Got around the keeper, but just ran out of space, unfortunately. But you can see there, he's causing problems 10 minutes in. And now we've got the first touch there. Oh, good win the ball there. Good hustle. Lovely ball over the top. Go for that volley. And what a save from the keeper. Had a bay at the top. Good first touch to get away from Maldini. Using that rapid to get the extra space. Had a bay at the top. They can find him. Great touch again. Using that first touch plus to get the space. Unfortunately, we just couldn't wait for a save to catch up. But you can see in terms of a hold-up striker, he's fantastic at it. Now can we capitalize on the mistake of our opponent? Adebayo here, losing that first touch again. Get away from Maldini, he's pressing him. Now we've got the space in behind. Adebayo! It's going to be a goal. It's not. It's cleared off the line. Great movement from him there. Again, he did win the ball on the first touch. Little one-two. We maybe should have ball rolled there, but I wanted to just tuck it away quick where the keeper came out and we didn't capitalise. Very unlucky. Great interception from him there. Don't manage to capitalise, unfortunately. Let's go counter-attack. Adebayo here running through. That's ah, an absolutely outrageous tackle. Referee, surely. Adebayo using that right stick dribble. Just trying to find the space. Nowhere to really go here. No one's really helped us with the movement. We do find him on the overlap. Ah, oh, it's a bit unfortunate there. Not much to do here. They've really had one shot in this entire game. Right, counter-attack just before half-time. Nowhere to really go, as we did have Badibayo through. So we've had one shot the whole game. Not been the best review so far. We've had half-hearted chances. 
Like I said, we are playing at a very high elo. You can see that Adebayo is up front on his own at the minute. Let me go to the second half and see if we get some more chances. We should have had a goal. It's cleared off the line. But in terms of hold-up play, he's doing really, really well. Now I'm going to show you some more of a breakdown gameplay where he's breaking through and trying to get some goals here, there. Have a touch in. Adebayo here. Using that left stick. Using that rapid. Gets a shot off. And there is the goal. This is what I'm saying with that first touch. And rapid. He collects the ball. Drives into the space. And a great finish with his right foot across goal there. Taking that lead. It has come. Our second shot of the game. Now our opponent has to come out and try and attack us a bit more. She's doing with his Alfonso Davies. Absolutely sent me to the shot with that skill there. Right, let's go. Counter attack quick. Adebayo is already running. Can we find him with this through ball? No. The mistake. Adebayo. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Great run from him to break the lines. Maybe should have cut that back in hindsight, but it's too late now. Right, counter attack. Adebayo already running for us. Got him through here. It's a lovely run. Keepers come out. Great save. Left foot. And we do bury it. Not the most prettiest goal, but we'll take it. More the movement from him to break up the space. It was his left foot, which is his weak foot. I did mention about three-star. But you can see how he pulled away from the opponent. And we do finish a half volley there as well on the rebound. Should have scored anyway, but trying to break down this Maldini has been very difficult. Two-goal lead there. Two goals from him as well. First half was showing you how he did the hold-up play with his first touch plus against his defenders. The second one, we've got way more space, especially getting that goal early. And we have been able to capitalize on this and basically get ourselves a lovely two-goal lead. Now, our opponent is making changes. I'm interested to see what he does. I will say that his weak foot is the problem. That's the only thing you have to get around. And you can't, I mean, you can decide which foot to take on, but sometimes the AI decides for you. But we have got ourselves that two-goal lead there. Can we get a hatchet with him? We'll have to see. But fantastic movement from him. Great run into the space. And, of course, Rapid Plus coming in clutch there to get away from the opponent. We've got Adebayo again here. Got ourselves in between. Adebayo's beat the offside rule. We'll trap even. Ball roll around the keeper. And there is the hat trick. And this is what I'm saying about this card. He is a massive in-game. Mostly lengthy with Rapid. And when you beat that offside trap, you are going to get yourself an absolute acre of space. Very, very difficult half. And now we've got ourselves a hat trick with him up front. Absolutely dominating our opponent. And it's all down to his movement. And this first touch plus here was a bad pass in the end. But being able to have that first touch plus just opens up so much space. Right, it's 3-1. We've got ourselves a serious game on our hand here. We've been very lucky to get ourselves not to concede here. And our opponent has made some crazy changes. Playing some mental passes. There's a bad pass from our defender there. We get away with it. Let's try and get a bit of composure here. And he has scored with Harley. It's 3-2 now. What is going on in this game? When that header, Sabio, nearly found Adebayo in the centre there. We are going to get counter-attack here. We've got to be careful. The ball down the line. We've got Adebayo running in. Going to whip it to back post. Oh, it's a poor pull there from Sabio. I was ready to try and beat Maldini in the air there with the man himself. And it is free. Oh, he's got back in the game. We're going to have to make some changes. We're losing the battle outside wide. We're going to bring on Mbappe and we're going to bring on Kaka here. We're going to try and get Adebayo a bit of space. We've been very, very unlucky. Our opponent's made some changes, like I said, at this ELO. Typically, I would change a striker, but because we're doing a review on Adebayo, I've kept him on. I'd normally bring on some fresh legs to try and sort out the tactics, but it is what it is. Now, we've got a big game on around here. Five minutes left. Can we get another goal here or not? Adebayo here. Using that left stick dribble for a minute. Nowhere to go. Hold it off. Adebayo trying to get in behind. Nearly. Adebayo here. Lovely touch. Finds Mbappe. The Traveller. And what a save. It should have been an assist. He has got a corner right at the end. Now, they usually score these because EA loves to do this at this type of game. Gone short. So, did a glitch. I'm going to let him. We win the ball. We're going to kick it out. Extra time it is then. Adebayo up front with a hat-trick playing really, really well. We'll show his performances so far in terms of statistics. Like I say, first half was ridiculously tight. Second half has been six goals. We should not throw away that three-goal lead. But when you're trying to do reviews, obviously you're talking. You're not concentrating as much. It is what it is. I'm not making excuses here. But you can see you've got 9.4. 17 dribbles out of 21. It's just been the big man up front. We've had seven shots on target, three goals. His passing has been absolutely fantastic. 13 out of 5. And then defending is one of those. Not really much to talk about. Now, we need to get that space that we had in behind for him to run into because that's where he dominates. 
And let's just see how we get on in extra time here. Let's go, can't attack. There's a ball into Kaka from Adebayo. And we buried it. Lovely assist from Adebayo there. Him as a dummy run. One ball down. One quick through ball with the left foot. And Kaka has got there. Lovely pass from Adebayo. Quick counter attack. And we've got that lead again. Let's hold on to it this time, please. Got himself a red card from frustration of us tackling. And Adebayo just causing problems. We've got through here. Early shot. And it's kicked him wide. Oh, no. That's just down to his stamina being what it is. We should have buried that. That's poor from me. Well, no. That was the game winner. Giving him a lifeline. And it's going to be the first half down. We should have had another goal with Adebayo there. It's a shame, but fantastic assist from him. One pass in. That's all he needed. He got it. He's on a 9.7. Now he's in a three goals, one assist. Let's just see if we can tighten up this game and get it out the way and done. Because we are sweating right now. Here we go then. Second half of extra time. Adebayo wins that interception there. That's huge. Into that first touch plus. Lovely little one-two. Oh, I couldn't quite get through there. Again, the stamina coming into it a little bit. Lovely ball in. Kaka at the bottom. Adebayo over the top. Keepers come out. He's got to finish that. And there it is. Lovely play. He's been absolutely clutch for us in this extra time. One assist, one goal. Back and forth between him and Kaka. The subs have come in massively. And this card, even though it's three-star, three-star, he's mental. Absolutely crazy good. I've right, got one more attack left, I think. Okay, maybe we don't. Or maybe we do. Our opponent's had enough. He's lost his head fully. Can Adebayo get in front? One more. Lovely touch in. Nah, you can see there he stopped playing. The ball roll around, tap it in. And there, it's going to be the end of the gameplay. Our opponent's had enough of Adebayo. Absolutely destroyed him in that game. I'll show you what our record is in championships in case you didn't believe me. And then we'll go into footbin and talk about Kem Styles and much more. So you can see that the game has finished. We won 6-3 in the end. Five goals, one assist for Adebayo. Absolutely clutch in that extra time for us. And just to show you our record in championships, you can see there we're 10-1 now. Let's go jump over to footbin and talk about the card in general. So we are on Footbin, and as you can see, he has got himself a very, very good upgrade. Now, I don't think he's the best striker in the game, don't get me wrong, but he can cause a lot of problems off the bench, or if you are using somebody with whip pass and you want him to win the headers, or even through balls because of the rapid plus and the first touch, he can do both. He can hold the ball up, and he can sprint past people and bury his shots. Because he's mostly lengthy, that also means he gets quicker over time. So he may have 99 sprint speed, but he'll have an added boost on top to make him even quicker than the card suggests. Yes, the three-star weak foot is a little bit of a problem. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to lie to you. He is a little bit inconsistent with that. But overall, this is a really, really fun card to use. The inform on the market at the moment is around 20,000 coins. To do the Evo, you're looking at 100,000 or 500 FC points. So for 120,000 coins, if you were to use coins, this is a really good card for what you get. Very, very fun, especially if you're a Luton fan as well. They are doing well all of a sudden in the Premier League, and I kind of hope they stay up. But that's going to be the review. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.